Alright, just a quick video today. Here is the final version of the drive key mod chip. Uh, they've improved a couple of features in the month that it was delayed. So installation is still as easy as it was before. You just plug it in like this. There's a tiny little dip switch over here. Uh, we just you push things back and forth depending on the, the region of your Wii. You turn the Wii on. First thing I want to show you is, is if you press eject three times, one, two, three, the red light on the mod chip goes on. And if you can see on the TV here, magically there's a GameCube ISO inside. If I can just. That's not it. As you can see, you've got the uh, drive key settings there. Up in the top right hand corner, you've just got the software and, and hardware version. Uh, the software version is upgradable via DVD. The hardware version is upgradable via a separate programmer. Um, you can turn the drive key completely off. You can set region override on or off. It defaults to on. Update blocker. So out of the box, it'll, uh, it'll block updates from other regions. The really cool feature is uh, the, the Wii Disk Auto Boot. Uh, which you could do before previously manually, but if I tap uh, the reset button to go down, I can set auto boot to on. I'm not sure why you didn't want to change that setting, that last setting there. So now I just go to save settings. It says please reboot your Wii. So I'm just going to turn the power off. On. I'm going to grab the backup here. So the whole auto boot thing means. This disk drive is <laughs> Alright, so if you look at the LEDs on the uh, on the mod chip, it's going to light up when it recognizes that it's a backup. And if you jump back on the screen, you don't even have to go into the disk channel, it just goes straight into the game without you doing anything. Which is going to save you a long time, stop you from. And that's it.